Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a more complex sketch and use construction geometry plus some creativity to get the job done. Let's get started. I'll start by creating a new sketch. I'm going to do it right on my XY plane. I'm going to start by creating a diameter with a value of 3 inches. But I want it to be construction geometry to begin with. So I'm just going to click right there. I'll turn construction geometry off. I'll hit escape. We'll use this in a little bit. Next, I'm going to go ahead and create a contour. I'm going to zoom up a little bit, and I'm going to start by clicking right here. And I want to point out a couple things first. Here is we're having automatic relations and dimensions, excuse me, automatic alignments and relations turned on uh, to be very, very beneficial. And you'll see why here in a minute. I'm just going to click here. I'm going to come down some distance. I'm going to tap A on my keyboard to switch to an arc. I'll come over to here. I'll come up until I'm on my circle and click again. Now, and I just hit escape by the way. Now from here we have a nice little sketch. But if you see we have some freedoms with this sketch. And the first thing I want to do is I want to put the center point of this arc right on my axis right there. Now, thanks to coincident relationships up there, if I resize this, it resizes symmetrically automatically. Very cool. Next I'm going to add a dimension from this point to this axis. And I'm going to name it as well because we're going to use it in the future here. So I'm going to say D for distance, could be B, it could be whatever you like, is equal to 093. Perfect. Like that, the two legs here of my sketch are blue. This is purple, that means it's under constrained. If I grab it, you can see I still have a degree of freedom. So what I'm going to do is dimension from that point to here, and we'll set that to a half inch. Great. Next, I want to create another piece of construction. So I'm going to come here, come up to some distance there. I'm also going to create one going from here to here as well that we'll use in a future step. I'll turn construction off, and now I'm going to go create another circle. In this case, it's going to be a one inch radius circle with its center point located on that point there. And notice now if I move this, it follows suit beautifully. Okay. Next, I'm going to copy this edge will validate. And then I'm going to go to trim. And here I'm going to choose delete selected part. And I'm going to make sure construction geometry is unchecked. And now if I select here, you'll see that it's taken into consideration my axes and my construction elements. Okay? And that's exactly what I want it to be doing. I want to keep only some specific things. Now I can turn that on to ignore it and say keep selection. If I click that it would get rid of this whole profile. That's not really what we want. So maybe we'll turn that off and we'll just delete these sections right off here as well. So we'll go and get rid of this. Like that I can hit escape. Just select that. Delete that. Beautiful. Now, actually I wanted to trim one more thing. I wanted to get rid of this outside here. Now, if you look, we still have some degrees of freedom here. If I move this, it's going to update our sketch, right? So maybe what we want to do is add a few more driving dimensions. For example, here, I would like to have the cord length coming from center, and I'll set that to maybe 2 and an eighth. And then maybe the angle. Maybe my angle is important. So we'll say 35 degrees. And like that, we're fully defined. Now, if you remember, I added this construction element down here before. And here's why. I'm just going to add a dimension from here to here and set it equal to that value there. Now I can click on it and it will borrow its value but it doesn't link it and I want to use the D itself. So I'm just going to click on my drop down list here and choose D. This way they're both related. Perfect again. From here I'm going to go into my sketch drop down menu, operations, and let's create a repetition. In this case, I'd like to make a repetition of this profile via circular pattern. My center point there, my starting point there, that's fine. 360 degrees, maybe four of them. My join method to none. And like that, my sketch is now complete by creating a dynamic pattern. And from there, I can go choose extrude and extrude this into whatever I needed it to be. 
And like that, you've just seen your first sample of a more complex sketch using construction geometry and sketch patterns to get the job done.